All right, Eugene here. About to show you how to simplify radicals using the product rule of radicals. The product rule says that I can multiply numbers under a radical times other numbers under a radical and have that product under a radical. Then, if needed, I can simplify it. Watch as I work a few examples. Square root of 2 times square root of 3. Square root of 6 stays under the radical. Square root of 5 times square root of 2 equals square root of 10 stays under the radical. Square root of 7 times square root of 7 equals square root of 49 under the radical, but I know the square root of 49 equals 7. Therefore, a radical times itself equals the number that was under that radical. Now, I'm going to use this product rule in reverse to simplify radicals. Now, when I simplify radicals, I want to remove any factors under that radical that are perfect roots of the index. Observe. Alright, I need a factor of 20 that is a perfect square since that index is a 2. That would be square root of 4 times square root of 5 because I know the square root of 4 is 2. So that this final answer is 2 square root of 5. Next example. Square root of 18. Give me a factor of 18 that is a perfect square because of that index. That would be 9. So notice, I'm still keeping 9 and 2 under the radical until I simplify that 9 by taking its square root. Square root of 9 is 3. So this answer is 3 square root of 2. Cube root of 54. Now I need a factor of 54 that is a perfect cube. I write that as cube root of 27 times cube root of 2 under the radical still, but I know the cube root of 27 is 3. So that that final answer is 3 cube root of 2. Variables also square root of x to the fifth. The largest factor of x to the fifth that is a perfect square is x to the four. So I could write this as x to the four times x, but the square root of x to the four is x squared, and then I still have my square root of x. So, can I still divide these exponents on the variable? Yes. Watch this. 2 
goes into 5 two times with a remainder of 1. Remember, the exponent under the radical has an exponent of 1 when there is no number there. Okay, that concludes today's lesson on using the product rule of radicals to simplify those radicals. Now, just remember, if there is no index shown on that radical, it is a 2. And my goal when I simplify a radical expression is to remove any factors of the number under that radical that are perfect roots of that index. Thank you, and until next time, have a good time.